was green and the buffalo grazed and the purple is each filled every piece white when the rain came down and made everything bright. Climate change has been talked to us in, through mainstream media in a really inaccessible, really sciencey way. Low-income communities of color specifically felt marginalized from the environmental movement. If the sea level were to rise as much as it's expected to, if we're going to experience a heat wave or extreme storms and hurricanes like Katrina, what does that really mean for us? My DJ name is DJ LN. <laughs> I work with young people, and as soon as I start talking about music or even just mention that I'm a DJ, their ears open up a lot wider. We integrate hip hop deeply into the work that we do. So for me, hip hop has really been a platform, not just to amplify the message, but also just to start the conversation. <laughs> I see myself as a, as a bridge builder. We're connecting young people with old people, having intergenerational dialogue. We're connecting old school mainstream environmental groups with grassroots base building community organizations. We're also broadening this idea of environmental justice and, and climate justice to include economic justice, racial justice, immigrant rights, and showing that all of the root causes of all of the injustices that we're fighting are the same. We're looking at corporations who will put people's lives at risk for profit. That narrative that's being, being told to us, that we can ignore the whole chain of manufacturing and the communities that are affected along the way. They're being polluted and that they're literally, their health is being put at risk to be able to have everything that we want for luxury, for convenience, for fashion. Yo, 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 97 ocean, 2% frozen, one week of drinking, half of that poison, five gallons per day for the African, average American, 300 gallons in. I work with high school age youth. These young people are so resilient and they are curious on, okay, now what can we do? What do I do? You know, how can I talk to my family about this? How can I talk to my friends about it? And so we created checktheweather.net to highlight young leaders in the movement, all in a way to redefine what it means to be green and what the green movement is. I think a lot of it is also a way to build the resilience in our communities. We're learning how to run local businesses and support a local economy. So we're learning how to grow our own food. Communities can be self-sufficient. Here is the chicken coop. There's five chickens. Oh, oh, oh. I just want them to be able to start asking the right questions so that they can analyze the world that they live in in a way that's healthier for them. And what people can do is just be more conscious of what you do, what you buy, um, how you consume and how you carry yourself in, through the world. I, I wouldn't consider myself like an uber hippie, but um, we have to do something. There's, there's no excuse for us not to. Planet Earth was my place of birth, born to be the sole controller of the universe, burst in the cosmos, burst of conscious, mind lift off the turf, dirt thought launches, grab on the compass, so complex, cosmic as the return of the prophet, alert starship, move like a comet, and looking through the windows of the galaxy, wind blows through the prophecy, my visual astrology, atomic P, aligning my chakras when I'm grabbing the marker, spider system like Peter Parker, walking through the desert, I see the Kaaba, read the Kabbalah, recite our father till I see our power.